I'm a bumblebee, bumblebee's my name. How do you do? Come and meet my friends, come and play with me. You can play too. Sing with us a happy song. You're doing great. Keep singing along. You and me both just buzzing along. <laughs> Hello to you. How are you today? Every morning when I wake up, I shout, Hello, how are you? To all my friends. Are you ready for another busy day full of fun? I know I am. That's why every morning I bounce right out of bed. When I wake up in the morning, I bounce right out of bed. I pat my furry tummy and I rub my furry head. I flap my furry wings and shout out, how are you? When I wake up in the morning, that is what I do. When you wake up in the morning, do you bounce right out of bed? Do you pat your furry tummy and rub your furry head? Do you flap your furry wings and shout out, how are you? When you wake up in the morning, is that what you do? Ooh, we're going to have fun today. The sun is up and I'm ready to play. Oh. What do you like to play with outside? I like to play soccer. I like to play jumbo outside. Play rugby. I like to play with my friends outside. I like playing cricket and riding my bike. Play sport. I like to play outside with my brother. I like to play on the bars. Pete and Boo have found something to play with. It's everywhere, and it's brown. It's on the ground, and it's in the ground. Can you guess what it is? Hello, Peek. Hello, Boo. It's a great day for being outside. Oh, wh what are your shovels for? Digging in the dirt. We're going to make some mud pies. Mud pies? Yes, mud pies. And we might let you eat one if you're lucky. <laughs> They'll be yummy. Come on, Pete, start digging. We need some earth. OK, some yummy, scrummy earth coming up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's it. Mm. <laughs> Oh, Peek, I think we've got enough earth now. Uh, Peek, I think we've got enough earth. You can stop now, Peek. Uh, Peek? Oh, oh, I have just decided that I love digging. I want to dig a big hole. <laughs> With my little shovel, I will dig, dig, dig. I will dig myself a hole that is big, big, big. I will dig the hole all day until the sun goes down. I will dig when it's dark and I cannot see the ground. But the moon will come up and fill the hole with light. So I can go on and on and dig all through the night. And then in the morning when the sun comes up, I'll start to dig some more and I'll never ever stop. So with my little shovel, I will dig, dig, dig. I will dig myself a hole that is big, big, big. With my little shovel, I will dig, dig, dig. I will dig a hole that is big, big, big. <laughs> <laughs> Bumble, where does all this earth come from? Uh, well, I'm not sure, Boo. Well, it's always been here in my garden. Well, it's good to dig. Well, I know that plants need it to grow in. If there was no earth, you wouldn't have a garden, Bumble. That's right, Boo. Well, the earth has food for the plants to eat, 
and, and water for the plants to drink. But plants don't have mouths. How can they eat and drink? Well, they suck up food and water with their roots, Peak. Hey, uh, you should fill that hole in again. Someone could fall into it. I want to do some more digging. Lots of digging. Well, well, I'm not sure we should dig up lots of the earth just for fun. Why? Who says? Uh, well, I'm sure if we asked Fishy... But I'm uh, digging. Well, if we're lucky, he might tell us one of his stories to help explain. Oh, well, what are we waiting for? Let's go and see Fishy. I can always do lots more digging when I get back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The letter K. The Kiwi had lost its way. Until he met a kind kitten who had come out to play. The kitten showed the Kiwi the way home. Kiwi thanked the kitten and gave her a kiss. <laughs> Kiwi, kitten, kiss. K, the letter K. How are you, Fishy? Oh, keep the play, Bumble. I'm fine. We've just been making some mud pies. I brought one to show you, Fishy. And I've been doing lots of digging in the ground. Do you like digging in the bottom of your pond, Fishy? Cow, no, Peek. I don't like to disturb Papa Tuanuku much if I can help it. Papa Tuanuku? Who is... Who's that, Fishy? <laughs> Papa Tuanuku is the Māori name for the Earth, the Earth Mother. The Earth Mother? Aye, eh, what? The Earth Mother Papa Tuanuku. She gives life to everything, so I like to manaki, to care for her, the Earth. Uh, like the Earth in my garden, Fishy. Aye, that's right, Bumble. Without the Earth, we would have no vegetables to eat or trees to climb. Oh. Papa Papa Tua. Papa Tua Nuku Papa 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 Tua Papa Tua Nuku Papa Hear my song of Papa Tua Nuku The great earth mother who gave to you The trees of the forest and rivers so clear The mountains and the plains that we hold so dear oh. Papa Papa Tua Papa Tua Nuku Papa 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 Tua Papa Tua Nuku Papa Hear my song of Papa Tua Nuku And Rangi Nui in the sky of blue His tears fall down on the earth below They water the trees and they make them grow Oh, Beautiful. Papa Papa Tua Papa Tua Nuku Papa 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 Tua Papa Tua Nuku Papa Her many children live here as well Tane Mahuta in the forest as well Tangaroa is the ruler of the sea And Taveri Matea the wind blows free Papa Papa Tua Papa Tua Nuku Hey. Uh, but, but, but I still like digging. Well, I'll tell you a story about digging and that famous tupuna of mine, Maui Portugi. 
great Maui Portiki. He's neat. Oh, that's right. But a long time ago, when the land was young, Maui Portiki's brothers they did some digging when they really shouldn't have. What happened, Fishy? Oh, he may get the Haere Tōna Wachu i tēnei wā. It's something you can still see today. Really? Aye. Me pē nei te kōrero. I'll tell you what. Why don't I tell the story and you can help by acting it out? Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> well, I was hoping you'd say that, Fishy. <laughs> All right. Bumble and Boo, you can be Maui's brothers and Peek. Since I know you think Maui is cool, <laughs> you can be him. Cool. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine. Iwa. Nine. Nine children jumping and splashing. Nine beach balls. Nine jandals. Nine ice cream. Nine. Iwa. Nine. Pete really likes digging up lots of earth, but I'm not sure that's such a good thing. Ugh. She's going to tell us a story about digging, and Pete and Boo and I are going to help act it out. Wonder what will happen. It was a beautiful day, and Maui, that me, and his two brothers, uh, that's us, were trying to catch some fish for their dinner. Oh, it's no good. The fish aren't biting today. We're going to go hungry if this keeps up. I was looking forward to eating a big fish for my dinner. Let me have a go. I bet I can catch something with my magic fish hook. I'll just throw it over the side and let it sink down into the sea. And, wow, I think I've caught something. Oh, hold on. Don't let it go. Maui was right. He had caught a fish all right. He got Tino Nui. A very big fish. Help me pull this fish up. It's so heavy. Okay, hold on. I'll give you a hand. <laughs> well, Maui and his brothers pulled and pulled. Maui did not know it, but his hook had caught onto the doorway of the house of Tonganui. Tonganui, the son of the sea god. Look, here, here it comes. Oh, 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 oh. But it's not a fish. No. It's a house. But the house is sitting on a huge fish. Oh. Maui was right. Tonganui's house was indeed sitting on a huge fish. Wow. It's the biggest fish I've ever seen. Hooray for Maui Potiki. Maui Potiki Maui. He was small. He was smart. He was neat. Maui Portiki Maui He was brave, he was sharp and quick on his feet He could change his shape whenever he pleased From an angry hawk to a swarm of bees Maui Portiki Maui He was small, he was smart, he was neat Maui Portiki Maui He was brave, he was sharp And quick on his feet He could fly a kite As high as the sky He could make a rope In that twinkling of an eye Maui Portiki Maui He was small, he was smart, he was 
with me to Maui for Tiki Maui. He was brave, he was sharp, and quick on his feet. Let's cut this fish up. Yes, no. let's cut it. We have to thank Papa Tuanuku, the Earth Mother. No, we don't. Let's cut the fish up now. No, no, you must wait. If you don't, something terrible will happen. Oh, Fishy is telling us the story of Maui and the big fish. Maui and his brother were out fishing when Maui pulled up the biggest fish they had ever seen. Well, now Maui's brothers want to cut the fish up, but Maui doesn't think that's such a good idea. Maui knew that he must thank Papa Tuanuku for her great gift. The fish that Maui had caught was really a huge piece of smooth, flat land. Don't listen to Maui. I'm hungry, and I'm going to cut this fish up now. Well, OK, I'll come with you. No, wait. We must thank Papa Tuanuku. But Maui's brothers would not wait. They ran all over the big fish and, and cut it with their tuki, their axes. Wherever the fish was cut, Valleys and mountains rose up, and the big fish was no longer flat and smooth. It was rough and mountainous. Maui was very angry with his brothers, but there was nothing he could do. Papa Tuanuku's gift had been changed forevermore. What happened to Maui's big fish, Fishy? It's still there, Boo. It's part of Aotearoa. Oh, Aotearoa, New Zealand. Hi, Bumble. Teika a Maui is the North Island of New Zealand. Wow. And the South Island of New Zealand is called Te Waka a Maui. Oh, Maui's canoe. That's right, Kapai, Bumble. The South Island is shaped like Maui's canoe. So why did Maui want to keep the fish flat? Well, flat land is easier to grow things on. And it's not as hard to walk over on a long journey. Oh, they should have looked after it better then. Kia ora, Peak. Uh, I think I'll go in and fill in that hole that I dug, because I always look after the place where I live. Aye, you're Tūranga Waiwai, Peak. Tūranga Waiwai, aye. Your place, your home. Papa Tūnuka will be pleased with you if you try to look after it, just like Maui Portiki. Yeah, just like Maui Portiki. <laughs> Maui Portiki Maui. He was small, he was smart, he was neat. Maui Portiki Maui. He was brave, he was sharp, and quick on his feet. He could fly a kite, as high as the sky, he could make a road in the twinkling of an eye. Maui Portiki Maui, he was brave, he was sharp, and quick on his feet. Papa, 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 Papa,
Tua, Papa Tua Nuku Papa. Hear my song of Papa Tua Nuku and Rangi Nui in the sky of blue. His tears fall down on the earth below. They water the trees and they make them grow. Papa Papa Tua, Papa Tua Nuku Papa. So that was the day in Kiwi Fruit Valley that Peak learnt to look after his two Ranga Wai Wai, his place. Though he still dug lots of holes, but he always filled them up again. And together we made the best mud pies in the valley. to dig holes in the garden but you must remember to fill them in again because it's always good to look after the place where we live no matter where you go today no matter what you do I believe that you are special mm -hmm. you believe it too